Next, we have the second part. Find R and alpha such that we have the situation, which is 9 multiplied with the sine theta plus with 12 cos theta in the form of R multiplied with the sine bracket theta plus alpha. So by using the compound angle, we have R sine theta cos alpha plus with R cos theta sine alpha. Next is to compare the situation. So we will have the sine theta and the cos theta. So compare the situation. So 9 is equal to R cos alpha. And next we have 12 is equal to R sine alpha. Find R. So R is equal to square root of, we have 9 squared, which is the 81, plus with the 12 squared, where we have 144. So R is equal to square root of, we have the situation 2, 2, 5. So finally, R is equal to 15. Next is to find the tangent alpha, where we have sine over cos, which is 12 over 9. So if we simplify the situation, and we will have 4 over 3. So finally, alpha is equal to 53.13. So by referring to the situation, kindly express the situation 9 sine theta plus with 12 cos theta is equal to 15 sine bracket theta plus with the 53.13. So that is the situation for the first part. Next, we have the situation if 9 sine theta plus with 12 cos theta is equal to 5. Solve for the theta in the interval where we have 0 until 360 degree. So question given, we have 9 sine theta plus with 12 cos theta is equal to 5. So kindly substitute the situation. So where we have 15 sine bracket theta plus 53.13, which is equal to 5. So sine bracket theta plus 53.13, which is equal to 1 over 3. After we simplify 5 over 15. So that is the basic type of the trigger situation. So step number one is to observe the situation and here we have the sine positive. So meaning that we have the first and the second quadrant. Second step is to find the basic angle. So here we have sine bracket theta plus 53.13 degree equals to 1 over 3. So theta plus 53.13 for the basic angle and we have 19.47. Step number three, we have the range. So as we can see, the range is start from zero until 360. But for this case, the basic angle is theta plus with the 53.13. So in here, the basic angle is theta plus with the 53.13. So meaning that we have to add on the 53.13 for the theta and also the range. So we will have 53.13 theta plus 53.13 and finally 360 plus with the 53.13 and we will have 413.13 degree so that is a situation for number three for the situation number four we have the rotation so kindly refers to the quadrant we have the first and the second quadrant so where we have the basic angle 53 where we have the basic angle 19.47 next is to consider the rotation. So as we can see, this one is 19 point... As we can see, this is the 19.47. So very obvious, the 53.13 is located over here. So we rotate the situation until this part, we have 360. So as we can see, we will stop at 413.13. So meaning that we have to add on the 53.13. So meaning that here will be our ending point, which is the 53.13. 1, 3 as a basic angle. So which means that we have to stop over here, which is the 413.13. So the beginning will be 53.13. Then here we will have 90. Then here we will have 180. Here we have 270. Here we have 360. And finally, we have 413.13 degree. So we are interested for this part. So we're interested in this part and also this part. So finally, number five is the solution. So theta plus 53.13 is equal to, for the number one, 
meaning that 180 minus with 19.47 and based on the calculation we have 160.53 continue the second part would be this part so as we all know the basic angle for this part is 19.47 so meaning that 360 plus with the 19.47 and we have 379.47 so finally theta will be equal to we have to minus the 53.13 and finally we have 107.4 and 326.34 so that is the answer for this part so here we are and thanks for watching thank you so much for watching this video if you think the video is useful, kindly consider to like, comment, share and subscribe.